Finally, let's talk about custom shortcuts. This feature was introduced in Capture One 23 16.2 and it allows you to add custom shortcuts for two types of commands, apply style and edit width. Edit width allows you to quickly convert your image and open in some third-party application. For instance, I would like to quickly get rid of skin shine on this shot. I'm going to use the Retouch for Me Mattifier plugin and I will set some handy shortcut for this, like this. Now, all I need to do is to click this shortcut. Uh, I highly recommend you to use T format for such editing because T format doesn't lose quality after resaving and most probably you would need to resave it again. So let's edit this variant. As you can see, the retouch from me mattifier is processing the image. It uses my previous settings. So previously I set blend to 100, but it's not always the optimal value. So maybe, yeah, maybe about 70, something like this. Let's compare. Yeah, looks pretty good. Maybe even around 60. Actually, I'm a big fan of Retouch for Me plugins. I think they are the best choice for auto retouching because the image quality is just stunning. And yeah, it's really, really nice and natural result. Okay, I'm clicking save. The image auto appeared in Capture One and that's why it was so important to export into T format because TIFF doesn't compress your image and you can easily apply some color grading or maybe some manual retouching and export it again in any other format including JPEG. This is only one example of how you can use edit with shortcuts but also you can use it for sending images uh, into Photoshop or maybe Affinity or any other third-party software you use for image editing. Okay, what about this styles feature? At first glance, uh, that's a pretty simple thing. You can just assign a custom shortcut to your favorite styles to quickly apply some color grading or image adjustments. However, this feature allows you to do way more. It allows you to create custom commands that were previously unavailable in Capture One. Let me give you a very simple example. What if you would like to set a color tag and a rating simultaneously in Capture One using a shortcut? Previously, it was impossible, but now, I will set a five star rating here and a blue color tag. And now I'm going to save them as a custom style. I'm setting check marks near rating and color tag. Save. Let's name it five star blue. And now we can find this style under custom style section. Uh, by the way, to quickly assign a shortcut, you can just right click on this style and choose assign shortcut. Okay, let's use some shortcut like this. And now let's test it. It works. So for instance, you can open any of your images, click this shortcut and all these images will get a five star rating and a blue color tag. This is pretty convenient, but it is actually only the beginning of what you can do with custom styles. Let me show you some really exciting things. First of all, I have prepared for you 25 technical styles that you will find in the lessons materials section 
and they are free to download for all course students. So feel free to download and install them and you will get the same list of technical styles. What you will find here, first of all, there are 10 styles that apply various star ratings and color tags. For instance, five stars plus green color tag, or three, styles, three stars and yellow, or two stars and orange. Also, there are some additional technical styles. For instance, I have created a style that applies new field layer with various opacities. Uh, this style is available only for Capturon 23 because only Capturon 23 supports layers in styles. So let's say I will use the style and now yeah we have new field layer with 50% opacity and the same we can apply here just let's let's apply with 25% opacity. Okay, it's here, it's filled, and opacity is 25%. And let's test it here with 75%. Yeah, it works. So you can set any custom shortcut for these styles. So for instance, like if you would like to quickly create new field layer with 50% opacity, just right click and choose assign shortcut and set the shortcut that you personally prefer. But there are some other features here. You can quickly change aspect ratios using such technical styles. I have created 10 styles that quickly change your aspect ratios from square to the original and including all the popular aspect ratios. So again, you can just assign a shortcut to any of the styles and now you can, in a single click, choose any aspect ratio that you would like to have on your image. This is also extremely convenient. By the way, if you are a Fuji photographer, there is another useful feature for you. You can use such styles to quickly change the film simulations. So for instance, your favorite simulation is classic Chrome. So let's set it and now I will save it as a style. Save custom style. I will remove all the check marks except for the film curve. So let's make sure, yeah, only one check mark, save. And like this. Now I have where I have my Fuji files. Yeah, like this one. And now let's see a Chrome. Yeah, as you can see, when I'm applying the style, it automatically applies the Chrome simulation. So now I will assign a shortcut, for instance, uh, this one. And this way you can quickly apply any film simulation just with a single shortcut. This is extremely useful if you are a Fuji photographer.